It is the 9th of the 2nd, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Well, let's go ahead and get started on SOT.net tonight. U.S. strange wave clouds that took over Florida's coastline, and there's some pretty traumatic um, footage or pictures of where the, the clouds are forming over them and look like big tsunami waves over the coastline. It's really cool. Pakistan whale shark deaths, a mystery. Um, they got a video of a dead whale shark being pulled from the sea off the Pakistan. Raises more questions about school bus size fish demise than it answers, scientists say. And they go on to say they usually sink when they die, and it is very, very, very rare that one of these creatures washes up on shore, and it's impossible for them to know how it died by the video and uh, the stories coming out of Pakistan. <clears throat> But that was kind of weird. Very rare thing. Uh, the Himalayas and nearby peaks have lost no ice in the past 10 years, a new study from NASA shows. Uh, the study is the first to survey all the world's ice caps and glaciers and was made possible by the use of satellite data. Overall, the contribution of melting ice outside the two largest ice caps, Greenland and Antarctica, in Antarctica, which did have ice loss, is much less than previously estimated. With the lack of ice loss in the Himalayas and other high peaks of Asia responsible for most of the discrepancy. So all these big um, alarm bells that have been going on about how the ice caps in the Himalayas are going to disappear and these millions and hundreds of millions and billions of people that rely on this um, water flow from these melting glaciers uh, for drinking water. Cameroon residents tremble as Mount Cameroon quakes. Uh, we got a volcano, residents of various settlements straddling the foot of Mount Cameroon, the country's southwest, and are increasingly panic stricken. Over the past one week, they have been witnessing reporting mild tremors and explosions on the highest geographical peak in Western Africa. And they got a story of a cracked house, a lot of tremors, and uh, very poor people in a very poor country. Uh, U.S. more concerns over San Onfre nuclear plant safety. Uh, this is the nuclear power plant in California that had problems <clears throat> uh, with their their piping recently. Uh, basically, uh, they replaced the pipes not too long ago uh, in a upgrade kind of thing, and these are. The, the new tubes are the ones that are bad, so apparently they've gotten some bad product from somewhere, and uh, this stuff's breaking down a lot faster, very, very dramatically. Uh, TEPCO struggles to cool Fukushima plant number two reactor, uh, ongoing situation. And where was that other story? Snow returns as freezing temperatures split Britain. Over to the extinction protocol, <clears throat> magma plume, large explosion seen at Mount Etna volcano. This is at Italy in a very active volcano. Tremor continues to rise, now at 13, from the webcam image seen as lava flow starting to issue from the southeast fracture. All indicators point towards we are having a second um, eruption in 2012 in the next hours. Large blast at Russian power plant stops motorists in their tracks, and they got a pretty dramatic video about the big flash. And uh, I'm not 100% sure if this was connected to the nuclear fire uh, that Moscow was reporting not too long ago. And of course, uh, Extinction Protocol's got the war drums beating. Um, swarms of tremors continue to rattle the coastland of southwest Iceland. Uh, i got a couple major volcanoes there, and that's right on the, the they're saying tectonic stress. Uh, we got a lot of situation going on there. Definitely something to look at. And, uh, of course, the new reality show highlights preppers preparing for doomsday. And uh, you had a couple of YouTube stars uh, made National Geographic, I guess. So, uh, something to watch. And that's about all they have new besides the, the war stuff. Over to Ice Age Now. Uh, they've got the story Himalayas have lost no ice in the past 10 years. Uh, wolves scavenge as attacked.
Italians warn of food shortages in the town of uh, Alquilta, L-A-Q-U-I-L-A, -L devastated by an earthquake in 2009, snowed in residents warned of food shortages and wolves scavenging in the white deserted streets of the nearby town. Oh, there's that abandoned town nearby that the, there's wolves roaming the streets. Warmed, warned, warmed from underneath. This is why the ice is melting in that, uh, that lake the Russians drilled down into in Antarctica, the biggest lake. Uh, they're saying it's due to geothermal um, activity down there. It's keeping the water from freezing solid. Uh, is the Woolly Mammoth video a hoax? i seen it. It looks uh, very, very, very... Why are all these always fuzzy films? Um, it looked like a bear carrying something to me. Another foot of snow for Europe. By Wednesday, a foot 30 centimeters of new snow will blanket parts of eastern and southern Italy to the mountains and inland valleys. Bulgaria, Serbia, Bosnia, Herzegovina, uh, Macedonia, Kosovo, and Monte Monterego. Italy most intense cold wave of the last 70 years sets a uh, number of records in northern Italy. Seven days alert for ice and snow in Tuscany. And uh, got some fish kills. Cold wipes out fish in Adriatic Sea. A fish is found dead in uh, Jeslo Lagoon near Venice, Italy because of all the extensive cold weather. And snow in northern Mexico and that's about all new they have going on tonight over to the RSOE real quick of course they got the Etna volcano eruption uh, extreme weather out of uh, Senegal I got out Oil pipeline burst in Australia, state of New South Wales, and Clyde, the Clyde Oil Refinery, which is Shell owned, uh, said they had a big leak and spillage. And volcanic activity in the Philippines, the province of Negros Occidental, a uh, Mount Canalone volcano. Uh, they're saying that big 6.9 earthquake. Um, set off the, is, is setting off this volcano and villages surrounding the volcano area the water has become undrinkable in places it's becoming black um, with sediment and all the stuff uh, that's just telling them that the, the volcano is definitely gearing up and I've also seen other um, other reports where people were concerned about an underwater volcano erupting where um, all this is happening so um, definitely something to keep an eye on in the Philippines right now and of course they're still dealing, dealing with the aftermath of the big earthquake and all the aftershocks. Over to the nuclear stuff, uh, let's go to e, e News. Freelance journalist in Japan reporting Fukushima government dumping tons of radioactive mud from decontamination into the river at night. Uh, Kyoto, highest radioactivity levels detected in Aichi, A-I-C-H-I, -I, since March 14th. Greater Tokyo area also increased, and they have charts on that. No comment. Residents near Troubled California nuclear plant request officials begin cancer study and install radiation detectors. Also, radioactive leak in Minnesota. Protest, protests over Georgia nuclear project. Brazilia's to delay reactors and more. Um, you melted fuel might have cracked due to some shock or drop down and change shape at reactor number two uh, leading to the recent, sur recent temperature spike and this is the TEPCO's version of what's going on. Uh, U.S. University low-level radiation appears to have had immediate effects on bird populations in Fukushima Prefecture. Areas studied are most, mostly still open to human occupation. Worse than expected, more pronounced than Chernobyl. J Japanese professor reports 25 times more Fukushima fallout detected in Tokyo Bay. Mud, uh, in Tokyo Bay mud than maximum level found in nearby lake after nuclear bomb explosions. Cesium flows in rivers won't peak for another one to two years. 
And uh, reactor number two temperature stays high despite TEPCO stabilization efforts. Was back up to 72 degrees Celsius. And they're showing charts where it's, where it's starting to flux, but uh, you never can trust TEPCO. Tokyo Professor, every organism in Fukushima Prefecture is contaminated with radiation. 1,373,000 becquerels per kilogram was detected in worm feces 60 kilometers from the meltdowns. And if that doesn't tell you what's going on, nothing will. Uh, Kyoto Professor, areas in reactor number two may be over 100 degrees Celsius. Fuel probably as melted as mud. Uh, increasing water injection may move it around. Uh, they can't see inside for decades to come. And they have a video attached with that. Japan Times masses of uh, amounts of slurry, a mixture of sand and water, have been prepared to contain radioactive materials as a last resort. And the Guardian on cold shutdown top official can conceded they have no idea about the location of the molten fuel, but assume it's resting at the bottom of the containment vessel. TEPCO number two temperature seems to be close to peaking out, is what they're saying. And a former Prime Minister's special advisor, Fukushima opened Pandora's box, crisis far from resolved. And that is an understatement if I've ever read one. And highest level of radioactive cesium in San Francisco area milk since August of 2011. It is now at 150% of EPA's maximum contaminant limit. And there is a chart on that. Uh, ABC reporter Charo population of Fukushima decreases by 6% since nuclear disaster. And I'm going to leave it with Japanese independent journalist, reactor number two temperature actually showing over 85 degrees Celsius. A lot of smoke is coming up off the building. So uh, that is all I have for you tonight. Of course, if I missed anything, please uh, leave your comments or attach your videos below. Thanks for your support, everybody. Enjoy what you can.